fourth video in the Light Placer series, dealing with electrons. Hi. Okay, we've got the Light Placer uh, assembly progressing nicely. We've got the mechanical side done, so everything's assembled there. And it's time to move on to the electrical. I was living in a dream world when I ordered 12 feet of cable for this machine. Uh, so as we're waiting for more cable to arrive, uh, we're going to start with the Easy Connect PCBs that I created. The connections to the Light Placer are complex and can turn into a whole mess of wires. That's not for me. I don't enjoy debugging wire like that and want an easy way to separate the brains from the body. So I created an Easy Connect system. It's designed to hook directly into the Tiny G using two PCB wings and bring all the wiring under control. Ribbon cables are great for this, but they aren't shielded. But have a look at the 24 pin motion control header down on the left. It's organized so that each stepper AB driver line has a nearby power rail and most have return paths immediately adjacent. In any case, I'll keep these short and I'm crossing my fingers. When I finish the boards, everything from the Tiny G gets to the machine over two ribbon cables. The wings will go on either side and have jumpers to select light placer or open PNP modes, and the PNP interface board receives the ribbon cables, connects all the wiring, hosts the valve and pump MOSFETs and flyback diodes, and lets you choose how you deal with the wire shield energy using jumpers. So here are the resulting PCBs. The wings go on either side of the Tiny G, connect to all the I.O. Ribbon cables then get head over to this guy, the main board that connects to all the actual wiring on the light placer. Let's build them and see what happens. Even with super simple PCBs like this, it takes a whole lot of steps to assemble any board. I'm hoping light placer will save me from all this soon. And here's the resulting interface board. The fat screw terminals are for the motors and lead rings. And the green things are screwless terminal blocks for the limit switches and vacuum. Just push the button to connect your cable, voila. All right, the three boards are done. I've got the two wings here connected to the Tiny G with the headers that match up really nicely, even though the Tiny G specs suck pretty hard. And the final board here for the light placer wiring has these screw terminals here and these easy connectors here, and it's all gonna be pretty cool. And here's everything tied together with ribbon cables. Okay, time to test. Oh, what has become of my sleek machine? Okay, I've got the wiring halfway done. Uh, I use the, uh, the terminal blocks here to separate, separate the cable chain cables, which are really long and will end up going to the uh, connector and to the tiny G over there, uh, from the actual peripherals that I want to be able to change whenever. So uh, in the back here, this guy's got uh, connections to the valve and the Z motor and the switches, the X switches here. And this guy in front just takes care of the two Z switches and uh, the rotation motor. So take a look. All the cabling starts at the top right and travels through the cable chains to the pick and place heads two Euro screw terminals. The big red e-stop is right at the front. And that's it. I'm going to get the wiring done now, hook it up to the board and uh, see if everything connects. Yeah, one thing that's worth noting is that you've got uh, four limit switches here and that would be like 12 conductors uh, just to get the power and all the switch sensing. So uh, in order to be a little bit less redundant, uh, I saved half the conductors by sharing the power lines. So one for ground, one for BCC, and then four switches that gives me six instead of the 12. So here you can see them actually being shared like that. They come from two wires in the back and it's split and then split again. So that's one minor optimization at the cost of some redundancy, so we'll see if there's any problems there. Next, I got the Easy Connect wings installed on the Tiny G, connected through ribbon cables to the interface board, which is connected to all the wires into the cable chain. Finally, it's time for a live power test. I plugged the supply into the Easy Connect wing, and it was go time. One, two, three, power. Oh shit. Yes, it works and nothing's melting. Then I got it moving a bit. Oh, I need to back up. Oh! Tested all the limit switches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. So, it's alive. Looks like we'll have a pick-and-place machine soon. Next video, we'll try using this thing. Stay tuned.